It is Monday, one of the very last Mondays of the semester before we launch into final exams. And I have to tell you, all of us in the stamp are thrilled to be at this point in this semester when we rejoiced at any Friday we finished because it meant we made it through another week. And thanks to all of you, I am joined by three amazing colleagues and friends who are here to talk about what we're all going through as we get ready for the end of the semester, and particularly those of you who have to take exams. I'm joined today by Olivia Mays, who is with us from the University Health Center. She works with mental health and stress management, and you'll get a chance to meet her. Allison Asarch is with us from the University Counseling Center. If you're a regular with Mondays with Marcia, you will have remembered Allison and I talked at an earlier juncture, and it was a joy. And then Sarah Wilson, who's an old pal from the University Health Center, doing amazing work with stress and mental health programs over there, and also working with all the peer mentors uh, over in the health center. A wonderful opportunity to share your knowledge. But we're going to talk a little bit about the world as they're seeing it today, and then the wisdom they have about how you might get ready for final exams or prepare to sort of take the fuel that you have remaining in your tank and infuse it with a little bit more. So I'm just going to ask um, my colleagues to jump in and tell me, what are you hearing from students right now at this point in the semester as they look backwards and forwards? Allison, what are you hearing? I am hearing that a lot of students are stressed. Um, you know, this is obviously our first full semester uh, doing academics in an online environment, uh, previously somewhat hybrid, now back to completely online. Um, and uh, I know that some students have really enjoyed the online environment and some students have really struggled with it. And um, I think that just adds another layer to what we always know um, is a stressful time, which is finals week or you know, multiple weeks sometimes of finals. Um, Sarah and Olivia, are you hearing anything else or a sort of a amplification of what Allison just shared? I would fully echo what Allison is saying. It's stressful. <laughs> uh, it's not just stressful to be a student. It's stressful to be a staff member at the university. It is just a stressful time to be a human surviving this pandemic. And then you pile exams, papers, group projects, managing class expectations on top of all of this. It's been a really hard semester. Um, I think it's worth pausing the video for a moment and giving yourself a pat on the back or uh, clapping for yourself because you have made it this far. Uh, there are still some long weeks to come, but you are doing it. Um, and we're in this together. It has not been easy, but we are doing it. Olivia, you're having a chance to spend a lot of time with peer educators as well, and they're going into the world of classes or UNIV 100 classes. Are they uh, learning a lot from those experiences? They're having their own experiences, but they're also learning from those they seek to teach. What I'm hearing from the peer educators is very much what Allison and Sarah are saying, that students are stressed. Um, one of the workshops that this, the peer educators facilitate is kind of wellness during a pandemic. Um, and in that in that workshop or in that presentation, there are opportunities for students to kind of share their experiences right now and, and the things that they're struggling with and the things that they're doing to care for themselves. And right now it sounds a lot like um, stress and anxiety are kind of the, the top concerns for students um, and loneliness being a big one as well. Not being able to be with their peers and, and studying together and supporting each other during this really stressful time. I think a lot of students are missing that right now. Um, and I think a lot about my experience as a student and how much I, you know, really leaned on my peers during this time to, you know, remind me that I needed to drink some water or remind me that I need to, to eat food. You know, we'd go to the dining hall together. Um, and all of those things have kind of been taken away from students right now. And it sounds like that is um, adding up, especially as we've kind of existed this entire semester, um, you know, in, in this in this virtual environment and, and away from each other. I think that it's starting to kind of pile up right now and, and uh, students are feeling it more intensely. If you wanted to message to students what you think 
uh, might be available to them that they might not know about or might know but not have taken advantage of yet? What's out there that might be uh, of relevance to them right now? Sarah, do you want to lead us off with that? I think I'll start off with meditation, actually, um, perhaps one that you may be expecting or may not be expecting to hear, depending on what your relationship with meditation is. The University of Maryland has a rather robust meditation program through the University Health Center, where we offer group, free group virtual meditations five days a week, um, all at varying times of the day to try to accommodate as many schedules as possible. I really want to dispel the fact that meditation is about sitting in complete silence all the time. That is not the style of meditation that we use at the University Health Center. In fact, if you were to take uh, a group meditation class with Olivia, uh, there is a very high likelihood that you will be up and moving during the meditation, actually perhaps even walking. Um, it's just a really great opportunity to push pause, to restore and to nourish your body. We know that you can be more productive and more efficient in your work when you pause. And that feels counterintuitive, right? If we have a long to-do list, we feel like we need to go, 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 and fill up the hours of our day so we can cross off as much from our to-do list as possible. But the research shows us that when we pause and take breaks, um, we're actually going to do a little bit better in some of that work. It's really important. And meditation can be one of the ways that we push pause. Olivia, you know, one of the things that uh, you're walking while you're meditating, are there other things that you're offering to folks, even whether it's directed by you or peers? Um, so another, another kind of offering uh, within the University Health Center, specifically within Health Promotion and Wellness Services, is our stress management consults. Um, so if there's a student who is kind of approaching stress for the first time, you know, or, or really trying to dive deeper into the stress management techniques that they use to navigate through this difficult time, um, they can schedule an appointment with myself or even Sarah. Um, and, and we can work with them to identify their stressors and to kind of map out a plan for how to get through this time. Um, and, and the techniques that they take from this, this um, consult are things that they can use throughout their life. And um, I also think it's important to note that sometimes the, the stress management techniques or the relaxation techniques that we used pre-pandemic aren't really working for us right now. Um, and so these, these consults could be a great place for students to explore different opportunities or different um, techniques for managing some of the stress that they're experiencing right now. Absolutely. What great resource. Allison, I know our friends in the Counseling Center are doing some extraordinary work with individuals and groups. Can you tell us a little bit about what's still available to me as a student if I wanted to access it? Definitely. So, um, you know, we have our individual therapy, we have our group therapy, um, and we also have a, a lot of workshops and our wellness workshops are still going on throughout the semester. Um, so they'll be going to the very end of the semester and students can definitely attend just by dropping in. Um, if they go to counseling.umd.edu slash workshops, backslash, um, then students can find the workshop that works for them. There are 16 different topics and um, be able to drop in right then. Um, and actually today uh, we have our last coping with stress workshop for the semester. Tomorrow we have uh, our conquer procrastination now, not later uh, workshop. And so these ones are really relevant to what students are gonna be going through right now. So I encourage everyone to just look at the page, find the one that works for them. And all they have to do is put in their name and email address on the Zoom link. Um, we know that workshops sometimes aren't what students are needing in the moment. Students might be sort of past the workshop stage in the level of stress and, and feeling overwhelmed. And of course, students are welcome to uh, call and ask for an urgent visit if that's something that they're needing during this time. If I'm a student who gets to the end of my exams and is still feeling that, what are my options during that um, post uh, exam and, and even during the January and winter if I'm a student? 
Sure. So um, absolutely, when the counseling center is open is when the university is open. And so students can still be reaching out. Um, there is that that small period of time where the university will be closed um, between Christmas and New Year's. But other than that period of time, students can definitely reach out for help from the counseling center, um, make an intake visit, possibly an urgent visit if that's needed. Uh, and we can definitely get them set up with some resources. Our wellness workshops will pause during that period of time because we want students um, to be attending them when we know students are, are gonna be thinking about it. Um, but that doesn't mean the rest of our services are. Talk a little bit about one piece of advice you would give from your own past uh, that would help people to get through this period. We are entering a part of the semester where there are a lot of competing demands um, and it can be really hard to remember all of them. Um, so I might offer uh, this, this teeny tiny piece of advice to be as explicit as possible with what you need to do when. Um, and that might mean like taking a traditional to do and making it two or three different ones and being as detailed as possible and then hanging it in a spot where you will consistently see it. Um, and being reminded of that can be really helpful. You know, for myself, remembering the stress that I was under um, and how my path always felt so linear, like this has to happen for this to happen, for this to happen, for this to happen. And looking back now and realizing that it most certainly was not linear and it doesn't look like that for anybody um, is, is such a helpful hindsight to have. And so the advice that I would give to students now who don't have that hindsight because they haven't finished college or graduate school yet is to uh, be gentle with themselves and remember that those individual assignments, exams, courses are not going to be the make or break of their entire lives. There are so many moments in our lives and you know, some are great and some aren't and that's okay. Yeah, that's great advice. Olivia? Kind of tacking on to what Sarah was saying about kind of reminding yourself or, or putting up to-do lists. I also think that with those to-do lists, you should include or do your best to include ways to care for yourself during, during you know, your study breaks or, or um, you know, at the end of the night, we have to kind of remember that as humans, we need sleep, we need nourishment, um, and we need water for sure. Um, and so what can we do to kind of remind ourselves that we need these things? Sometimes it's setting an alarm or sometimes it's adding that into your to-do list or blocking time for these things. Um, but just making sure to prioritize some of our kind of basic human needs because that's what gets us forward. That's what, that's what, make, that's what allows us to kind of show up um, and do our best when it, when it comes time to do, to do that. What wisdom. I um, often think about one of my most sage mentors as an undergrad in the midst of organic chemistry said to me, Marsha, we are all swimming in a sea of choices and you can drown in that sea of choices or you can pick a spot on the shore and swim towards it and do that. And then when you're finished with that or you've mastered that or you've done your best, then pick another spot and swim over there. Um, because I think sometimes it feels like the sea of choices is so vast that you're afraid you can't stay afloat. I want to remind you, it is almost the end of term when we hit this point. And there are a number of things going on in the stamp, um, not the least of which is to think a little bit about, for those of you who rented textbooks, when you get through with your exams, tempting as it may be to throw them out the window, you don't want to do that. So bring them on back to the bookstore uh, because you'll want to make sure you get those textbooks back so that you're appropriately charged uh, for that, for all those rental textbooks. So the university bookstore is here for you. The other is uh, we want to remind you that we are here and the bookstore will be open. And if you want to bring home something that's a little Maryland wear for the end of uh, January when it gets really cold, we're here for that as well. I would say how blessed we are to be in a campus community that has this great ethic of care. Um, and not the least of which the care we get for one another, um, from colleagues across campus who provide that sort of network of care for all of our students. Um, but what I would hope for each of you is that you take the wisdom of these really wise souls and employ it. And let me just say thank you to Sarah and Allison and Olivia for what you do every day, but particularly for sharing a bit of that wisdom today. 
And here's to all of us. May we swim to that spot on the shore of success and well-being. Um, thanks a bundle.